The largest large language models typically require a lot of compute resources, a lot of memory, and also a lot of compute power. And your typical laptop or home computer, the consumer grade hardware, doesn't have nearly enough capacity. Even if you have a really powerful system at home, such as 128 gigabytes, like CyberOfficial here uh, has created a working, uh, using consumer grade hardware, was able to get it to work. Olama with DeepSeek version two, 236 billion parameters. That's a very big model. That's like over 160 gigabytes worth of memory just to load the model. Even if you have 128 gigs of RAM, which is a lot for consumer grade hardware, it's not enough. You can't fit 160 gigs and 128 gigs. It'll consume it all. Plus that 128 gigs is also being uh, consumed by the OS and other things. So you don't get to use all of it. You also have a graphics card here, which is the TI-3090, which is really powerful graphics card. That's a good one. Uh, and it does have a good deal of ma'am, RAM as well. Still not enough. So deep, uh, we have cyber official here was able to get it to work by also adding a 256 gig dedicated page file on an NVMe drive, which is like adding more memory using a solid state drive on NVMe, which is really fast, uh, you know, not quite as fast as system RAM, but also pretty fast. And that gives, uh, it actually works. If you do it, combine all the memory just to load the model, some, some memory from the system RAM, some memory from the GPU and from the page file. It's not that usable, though you get about a half a word per second. Uh, so every, uh, basically a word every few seconds. It's definitely not practicable, but it does work using default Olama settings. Taking a look at DeepSeek version two, the 236 billion parameter model running on consumer grade hardware is actually pretty fascinating because it's gonna require a lot of compute power and a lot of memory. And so this is an example of it running right now on uh, a, a consumer grade hardware. Although this is a really nice consumer hardware with 128 gigs of RAM, we have a TI, RT, uh, an R, in, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 Ti, which has a lot of VRAM, it's also very powerful. And we see here using Olama that we're able to offload 11 layers to the GPU, which is gonna consume about 23 gigs of VRAM. Uh, and then uh, because you can't fit all of it into that GPU because the model's so big, you have to use system memory as well. So we see that we see a CPU buffer here, of about 103 gigabytes that it has been, uh, that is running on the CPU. It's really impressive. So scrolling over here, there was actually the prompt. Here's the prompt. You can see that they asked for a Python script that says, hello world. And uh, uh, the, the model response here, here's a simple script that prints out hello world, print hello world. That did the trick. That does it. That's the hello world for Python. Oh, it even gives you instructions uh, to run it uh, in, a, in a terminal window or Jupyter notebook. All right. Thank you, uh, DeepSeek V2. Uh, and then we see that the, a lot of disk usage for the NVMe uh, storage, the system memory here, we can see, let's kind of zoom in here really quick. So we can see the con the total consumption of system memory uh, in order to get that model loaded into the, the, the system. Uh, a little bit of CPU usage, some GPU usage over here during that uh, inference time. And here's the stats. We can see that, that uh, Hello World Python program took quite a bit in order to run. The total evaluation took, just to, just to show the screen here, uh, just these few, just a little bit of output took over a minute, uh, <laughs> which is a long time to respond. Uh, and the, uh, the rate per, per second looks like around, uh, one and a half tokens per second, which is about one word every few seconds, right? Uh, cause a token can be half a word usually or a partial word or even a letter. So it's pretty impressive to be able to run a model this big on consumer grade hardware and a pretty beefy consumer system as it is, right? That 128 gigs of RAM uh, and a pretty powerful GPU. Still not enough. You need a, a hard drive uh, a VRAM in order to leverage that. And it's on a NVMe drive too.